Hi everyone. So today we are going to start a new video on the electronic keyboard. Now first of all we should know what is an electronic keyboard. So there are lots of instruments like piano, electronic keyboard, accordion, harmonium. This is known as electronic keyboard because this involves the electronic concepts. You can see so many functions are there and we have a display screen. This is the starting on off button. This is the master volume. You can minimize the sound or you can maximize the sound. Then we have the metronome. Okay. This is the tempo tab button. You can change the tempo. And this is the accompaniment beat. Lots of beats are there. Then we have different voices. has many kinds of sounds apart from the musical sounds some advanced keyboard have like uh, background scores so you can uh, listen the sounds of like uh, uh, lightning thunder rain uh, some birds flying chirping all these sounds you can hear in keyboards so the concept of electronic keyboard is that when we are playing an instrument, like suppose if I am playing a piano. Now this is the sound of an electronic piano. If I want a different sound in piano, then I have to change the sound from the functions. And you can get the sound like this. Like that you will get lots of sounds like synth sound is there, bass sounds are there, then we have different uh, flute sound is there, different string sounds are there, then wind instruments are also there. So whenever you are playing the keyboard, electronic keyboard, you can make an idea how a flute is played and you have to just try to play like that. So this is the concept of keyboard playing. So it is little different from the piano playing because when you are playing a piano, you only play the piano lessons. You cannot play a, like a flute lesson on that or a saxophone lesson on that because that tune will not come. Now coming to the keys, this is the thing that is known as a keyboard. So in a musical keyboard, we have only white and black keys. You have to understand this thing. All these white keys represent natural tones. And all these black keys represent accidental or you can say enharmonic tones also. So if you see the keyboard, we have two black groups and we have three black groups ok you can see like that so just before the two black groups we have a white key and this is known as C these are all C after that comes the D just after the C, you will get the white key that is named D. These are all D. After that, we get E. After E, we get the white key sound F. F we will get G. And after G we will get A.
After A, you will get B. Okay. So, in music, we use seven alphabets A to G or C to B. We can also say according to the keyboard. And all these are different sounds. If you play from C to B, you will get a sound like this. Okay. Now we come to the black keys. So just after the white key, the C key, we have a black key that is named a C sharp or D flat. After that, we get a white key that is known as D. So just after this D, we get a black key. This is known as D sharp or E flat. After that, we get a white key named E. Then F. Then after this F, we get a black key that is named F sharp or G flat. After that, we get a white key name G. After this G, we get a black key name G sharp or A flat. After that, we get an A, then A sharp or B flat. So, whatever tone names are in sharp or flat, these are all black keys on the keyboard. Okay, so I hope you are understanding. The foundation of the keyboard, what keys are there, how it is named, which is A, which is A sharp, like that. So for today's lesson, we'll do this much only and be ready for the next class. We'll be learning more things. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.